the one and only podcast. So this is your life, hey. So this is your life, hey. So this is your life, hey. So we're, we're live. live. Yes, sir. Yeah. How, do you know who we are? Uh, I don't know much about you, man. I don't know, but I hear that we're both on this podcast called So This Is Your Life. <laughs> it is. That was a good start oh right there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was a great start. You better sample that one I day. I just did. Okay, let's hear it back. So This Is Your Life. So This Is Your Life. All right, Mr. Kendall. Yes, uh, Mr. Nigel. That's that's our names, right? Oh yeah, we didn't even introduce ourselves. Okay, okay. Can I have an AKA, please? Okay, Kendall, AKA. AKA. The fuck. Your daddy. Your daddy? <laughs> all right, all right. No, 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 no. I was gonna say Kendall the Stallion. Ooh. Fill in your last name. I don't know the last name again. Fuck. <laughs> 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 yes, and Nigel, young Nigel. This I is him. That. He's going to be famous one day, you know. Indeed so. Oh, my gosh. This guy. This guy makes the fire music. Thank you, sir. Thank you. But that's for another podcast. We'll talk about it. it. Or we can talk about that now if you want to. Or if you want to just introduce our show and sure. and, and uh, how great it is and how great it's going to be and how This is the future. Good it is. <laughs> yeah, this is the future. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah. So right now we're not uh, advertised by anybody. We are not. We don't have any... Um, you know, sponsors, sponsors or yeah. anything yet. So Just this is wait. brought to you by the garbage can by at the back of my condo. Yes, sir. <laughs> Full of garbage. Just like Kendo himself. Oh, uh, don't say uh, that, man. I'm just kidding. You're you're a gem. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> you're a sapphire. <laughs> yes, I, no, you are a sapphire. I'm more of a ruby myself. You're a ruby? Actually, I'm not going to lie. I'm emerald. Shout out Pokemon Emerald. Oh. Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon. Nintendo. You Pokemon fan? Uh, am I a Pokemon fan? I like Pikachu. And Charmander. Charmander, okay. like the, because he has like the fire and everything. And okay. I like fire, uh, dig fire. No word of a lie. Another, that's just crazy that you said that because today uh, my buddy came over and needed a pair of socks. Yeah. And uh, last year, probably, probably two years ago because last Christmas, you know, COVID. Mm-hmm. But two years ago, we were playing Kris Kringle with uh, my extended family and everything. Nice. And I won a pair of Charmander socks, and I gave them to him today because he was barefoot. Wow. And I couldn't stand looking at this guy's toes. <laughs> <laughs> what do they look like? <laughs> bro, they look like Charmanders. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're some they're flaming. <laughs> they're bro, just like baby Charmander socks. They barely fit this guy's foot. But wow. They did the job, didn't they? That's fire. <laughs> it is. <laughs> no pun intended, eh? Well, I, I guess these people want to know who the hell we are because, like, you can't just have a podcast and, like, every other old Joe that has a podcast. They need to know who we are. Yes, sir. Like, what the hell do we do? And why do you want to listen to us? Like, why the hell do you want to listen to these two dudes that are drinking beers? Just big chilling. Big chilling. Right, top man. villain. So tell me why. You want to start us off? Fine. I'm, I'm I know why. Because we're know. fire, man. We're awesome. <laughs> we're no, awesome. No, we actually, bro, we are some cool dudes doing some cool stuff. We just pounded each other just now. Yeah. Just to let you know. Okay. Uh, little <laughs> suspect. Um, oh, sorry. Fist, no, no, not. fist bumped you know each what? other? You know what? I, I'm sorry, man. I, I get myself into these, like, things sometimes. I say these things sometimes that might, you know, people that are very conscious about wording right, will right. tell me that I'm saying something that's uncomfortable, but I awesome. don't think it is. I think everything's comfortable at the. Oh, yeah. oh, everything like I just felt I'm the comfortable guy. <laughs> you are, man. You actually know, like when I first met this guy, uh, we met at work and right off the bat, this dude just chill motherfucker. Part of my language, but you're an awesome dude, man. Yo, you know, I was nice. about to lie about that story. We didn't mean at work, you know. I was actually off to war in um, Siberia, I and I was on a <laughs> I was on a journey. No, you, you know, I was like, yeah, because like my plane crashed, and I was the only one that survived. And I walked through this Fuck. this like mountain full of snow, and then like somebody had a fire like way under. Hey, fuck, and, okay. and this guy like went like, "Hey, man, what's wrong with you, man?" I'm like, 
I'm cold. Like, what's going on? And he's like, hey, come to my fire. I'm like, okay. Stranger danger. And it was Nigel. And that's how I met him. That's the story about how I met him. Big facts. But, yeah, you we spilled bonded. the beans. You just spilled the beans. We do, we do work with each other. <laughs> and we said, like, hey, you know, you dig Tame Impala. I dig Tame Impala. Buddy, game you know over music. right there. Oh, game over. Game over. As soon as this guy told me he fucking liked Tame Impala, shout out Kevin Parker, man. You're making Ooh. the greatest music this generation has Ooh, seen. Oh, yeah, he is. But, nah, if anyone, if you haven't listened to Tame Impala yet, you better hop on that. It's a whole lot better than the less I know, the better. Right, All right, right, right. So that's one thing we you know about us. So we both love Tame Impala. That's our like, that's our shit, buddy. That's our, <laughs> that's our shot. That's our shot. You know, oh, man. catch us at a concert. Yes, sir. If you, if you see us, buy us a beer. Catch me up on a room. Ooh. Okay. That's coming up soon, right? Yes, sir. September, early mm. September. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I can oh. get the festivals going, buddy. Okay, so let's learn more about each other now. Like, all right. Okay, so what's your favorite color? Okay, for the longest time, since I was just a little youngin, just a little Nigel, uh, my favorite color was by far turquoise. Okay. Because I love green, I love blue, but nice mm-hmm, that turquoise. But I would say now, honestly, man, I really fuck with the color yellow. Yellow shirts, summer vibes, sunset, nice. daylight. Nice. Just some mellow yellow vibes. What so, you, any, Bob? oh, me, I, I like green. Green is my favorite color. I love green. Green. You Patty's dude, you're Irish? Uh, I'm not Irish. No, I'm not Irish, actually. Um, I have a little bit of Scottish in me, though. Hashtag Scottish gang, all right. Yeah. Start up that hashtag fans. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I like green, but I also like the the color burgundy. I don't know why. Just yes, like that sir. dark red, you know? You know what it reminds me of when I was a kid? My dad had a burgundy Le Mans. It's one of those like uh, I, 80s, ca- those like 80s, early 80s, like long cars that ha- that was, oh. it was all burgundy though. And I <laughs> love that color. But I'm about to age myself right there. What? Uh, uh, yeah. Excuse me, sir. What is a? Uh, oh one? yeah, I forgot about that. We have a huge age gap. I think. Not even that huge. Come on, uh, yeah. Uh, it, uh, Twenty nineteen years. Yeah, nineteen well, years. Uh, what year were you born? I'm born nineteen eighty. Oh, that's a twenty year gap right there, boss. Are I'm you? Uh, are you born? You're two thousand baby. So you have an eighties baby, and you have a two thousands baby. Yes, sir. Still babies to this day. Holy. I'm going to say an 80s word. Holy mackerel. Mackerel. All right. <laughs> yeah. Going I felt good saying that. Nation. You know, all that, like that, that serotonin just came into me and just like release. So when they said mackerel. Mackerel. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. So Kendall, sir. Cowabunga. <laughs> Cowabunga. Are these just surfer words? No, that's Ninja Turtles for you. That's what, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Michael- I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> so Michelangelo was like the party dude. So like. In the 90s, like, growing up, like, you know, I am I was, like, the party. Like, I try to be, like, the extrovert type of guy. Yeah. And, like, out Extra. of all the... Uh, yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, all, out of the all the four Ninja Turtles, I was the Michelangelo guy. Okay. You know, like, like the rude, shitty guys were, like, the Raphael guys. Like, whoever oh, liked oh, Raphael oh. back in the days... Was like the shittiest person. Like they just Big ca- they love like these this rude fucking dude that just I who's, don't know who's the silly one. Is it Michelangelo? Michelangelo. Yellow band. Yeah, he's the orange band. Orange yeah, band, okay. orange band. Yeah, he was like the the party dude. Like like if anything bad happened, he'd be like, "Dude, don't worry, just, <laughs> just have some pizza, man." That's awesome, bro. That's I know. He like anything right that there. anything negative that happened. This guy was like, "Dude, let's just have some pizza. Let's party, man." Yes, sir. You know, oh. and he'd be kicking ass at the same time. Shout out pizza. Pizza. Uh, you like pizza? <laughs> yes, sir. Duh. What, what's your favorite pizza? Are we talking brands or toppings? What's the deal? Uh, we're talking brands first, oh, then toppings. All right, fans, hear me out. I am a Canadian, so ooh. So sorry, Papa John's, you're not on my list. Uh, he said sorry, so he is Canadian. Growing up, I did say sorry, so leave me alone. <laughs> Growing up, but you're sorry, right? Domino's, 
Oh my goodness. If you're going to muck a pizza when you are pissed drunk or, you know, just under the influence a little bit, nothing beats a hot Domino's pizza. Ooh, hot. But I can't lie to you. I have grown up and my taste buds have matured. And Pizza Nova, they have those real ass toppings. You got to get it well done. Is Sorry, Pizza Nova. Sometimes your pizza is just undercooked. But damn, if you get that well done, that is a fire pizza. What okay. about you, mate? Oh, me, man. I, okay. I, okay. So if you're listening from the States, you wouldn't know this company. It's called Pizza Pizza. Double that pizza. <laughs> that was the sh- crappiest pizza you've ever tasted it's yes, like sir. it's like a, a plastic pizza but it's like it, okay so if you had pizza pizza for the first time you'd be like man this is fire like everyone did yeah, everyone yeah. had that situation like you know you eat pizza pizza for the first time may it be in like high school or in like elementary school i like, hope what, that's not wow. the first time you're eating a pizza in high school <laughs> no 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 no, no, no. Go, i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt. El- continue no it's okay elementary school and uh it was it was fire, but then like like when you keep on eating it, it tastes like crap. Yeah. So, my favorite pizza to make a long story short, because I can talk about pizza all night if you want. Yup, <clears throat> it's Pizza Hut stuffed crust, deep dish, with a lot of cheese, pepperoni, just laid on me, okay. man. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I do love my stuffed crust. Oh, but I disagree with you on that Pizza Hut, man. Pizza Hut, if I do say so myself, is worse than Pizza Pizza. I didn't mean to just break your heart right there. <laughs> we can get over our differences, can't we? Pizza Hut is worse than Pizza Pizza. We need a poll for that. Uh, we, know, we because do. I, I, I don't think you're right, but, you know, <laughs> teach their own. I don't think you're right, <laughs> but I will say this, though. This is a, like, no doubt in my mind, and I think it's a no doubt in Canadians' minds. Maybe even Americans if they try pizza pizza. The best dip on the market, hands down, no questions asked, is pizza pizza creamy garlic dip. You're right. I dare you to challenge me. Okay, but I dare you to challenge okay, me. Okay, you're right, you're right. But if you put if you take the gar like the garlic dip sauce out of the equation, is pizza pizza better? Hell no. Oh, then then pizza hot? Boom. Then pizza uh, hot? Pizza hot, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I might, I might have to say <laughs> that, yeah. Okay. Either way. Okay, Kendall, you tell me about yourself, sweetheart. You are born in 1980. Born in 1980. And where were you born, sir? I was born in the great city, the greatest city in Canada. You're talking Montreal? I'm Montreal. Yeah, I'm from Montreal. Shut the fuck up. You're joking, right? Yeah, I'm from Montreal. Are you dead ass right I now? I am dead but right now yeah, that I am part of my from Montreal. I am not kidding you. I literally just said Montreal as a joke because I was like, what's the worst city in Canada? No, <laughs> it's not, no it is not yeah. the worst city in Canada. It is not. It is a great city, especially old Montreal. Oh, Montreal beautiful, is so beautiful. By the water, everything. Else. Yeah, it's it, it's a holiday, man. It's like it. a holiday that you would just have to relax. But, you know, 100%. yeah. So I'm from Montreal. And I moved to Toronto when I was like around six years old, five years old. Say a word, okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty much Toronto. You speak you know. any French? Uh, je parle un petit peu. Oh, okay. Un petit peu, you know. I, yeah. j'allais, j'allais tout dit à Lyon, à Lyon Française. Okay. So that's okay. like a, a place in I'm Toronto. I know what he says. So I studied at a school called... A Lyon's Francaise. A Lyon's Francaise. It's like a, it's like a French school, yep. but they teach French from France instead of the French from Montreal. Yeah, which honestly I would say is better. Sorry, Quebecois French people, but the accent is not for me. I'll just <laughs> I'll say for me. Okay, uh, I think a lot of French people who are listening are be like, just got what is this bad. guy saying? What are you saying, sir? So, are you, okay. So, do you like to like what, what? What else about you? Like, do you like to? Do you like? You're a musician, right? You're into music. I am a musician. Yeah, and yeah. It's taking me a while to like really admit that. I'm not gonna lie. I do have c- 
confidence issues when it comes to this because I haven't fully released anything yet. Okay. But I do have a small circle of people around me that are like slowly supporting me, man. And it's it's seriously making all the difference. I.E. me. Kendall, <laughs> Kendall is a big supporter what, of my what, music. Oh, man. This guy's fire. Once you listen to it, like he'll give you the deets. You know, Thanks, wh- man. when when he wants to give you the deets, and I know you'll be running to the deets to listen to his <laughs> deets. <laughs> you'll be running to those deets, man. Deets times four. Deets, as I mean details, yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> For those of you who are unable to decipher his quote. But, no, like, uh, like seriously, man, music, it, uh, it, was, it was, like, probably grade 11. I think it was, like, the summer after grade 11, actually. When uh, I just really got into old rock music, like 60s, 70s. Nice. And then so, like, and this is, I'm talking, like, deep into that stuff. Like, I n- never really invested into music that much other than ASAP Rocky. Nice. Shout out ASAP Rocky, man. The first artist. My sister put me on him. Amazing. Wow, wow. Also, Kendrick, Good Kid, Mad City. Potentially the best Fire. rapper. Fire. Yeah. Music is another podcast that we'll so talk he, about. So he's better than Drake? Drake's from Toronto. Is that man. even a question? Oh no! I don't even care where you are from. Oh Kendrick no! Kendrick Lamar is by far, hands down, no question better. I, than I think Drake is fire too, man. He, He's he got has, his own vibe yeah, going. But yeah. you're talking talent wise, Kendrick Lamar is on another level. Wow. Sorry, and I'm from Toronto. That's an easy choice. But either way, uh, I got I got really deep into those like 60s, 70s rock music, like soul, R and B, everything, man. Like Marvin Gaye, Led Zeppelin took me a while to get into the Beatles but mostly that Zeppelin was a big influence nice and then I was like you know what I want to play guitar I want to learn how to play and then my sister years prior it was when Justin Bieber was just coming out shout out Justin Bieber another Canadian dude but uh what was his first song Justin Bieber what was his first like hit what's it called baby when I was like Baby, 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 baby. Can they, baby, can they sue pa- us? <laughs> I think it's so terrible that they won't sue us. He was so adorable, eh? He was. Yeah. He was. Just a little youngin'. But anyways, my sister, I want a guitar. I want to play like Justin Bieber when she's like fucking 15 years old. Who knows how old? Nice. And then she's four years older than me, by the way, just to put it in context. And then so fast forward all these years when I'm probably 17, 18 years old. And I'm like, I want to learn how to play guitar during the summer. And I'm like, I swear my sister had a guitar, which she never played, by the way. Just got it for a gift. And then I found it underneath her bed. And I was like, yeah, let's start learning how to play. And literally from there, it sounds cliche, but I honestly do think my life changed. Because I never, ever considered anything to do with music for a career at all. And then literally I just fell in love with guitar. And I couldn't stop, like trying to write my own songs just playing around making my own noises you know and that kind of like really turned my life around and wow now i really like i focus on that and i got some better equipment and like it's really fun i I can't wait till you break out that would be crazy that's going to be be crazy it's going to be crazy i hope it's gonna like you know you're gonna like you know go out there and tour and it's gonna be like what the hell man all I wanted was a guitar for my sister. And you'd be like, this is all. It just That'd went all the way up to man. there. I hope it, like, and when people talk about, like, I, I don't go into music because I want to get famous and rich. Like, yeah, yeah. if you're doing that stuff, guys, do it because you love it. Straight no up. No matter what you do, as long as you're not hurting people, do it because you love it. Be sick at it. Like, you're, that's your craft, man. Yes. You know, take care of it. And that, like, when you take care of something, it requires love. Yes, sir. Straight up and down. Bro, put, give it attention. If you focus all of your time and energy, think about how much time you spend on your phone, how much time I spend on my phone. Like, it's <laughs> stupid. Phone, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever it is. Yeah. Watching, binging Netflix, man, like, especially nowadays. If you took that time and was like, no, I'm going to focus on whatever you're doing. Like, imagine how much better you would be at that. Like, literally, practice makes perfect. You're not going to be perfect at whatever you do. But think about how much better you could get if you focused even, like, two hours a day on whatever you want to do, if that's what you want, if, that, if that's what you actually love, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you would see Sky, the progress. Sky's the limit, man. It is. It's, you know, consistency is key. 
it to is. everything. I like that. Yeah. That's podcast rules yeah. right there, boy. Straight up. And this is our first episode. Can you believe that? We're wow. in crazy. the podcast world. We have entered. We have entered, and we're going to infect it just like COVID. Okay. That was a little dark. Not COVID. COVID's okay. cool, man. What do you Co- mean? Uh, <laughs> COVID's cool. This guy? COVID's you know what? cool. I quit the podcast. Why? Psych. Ooh. Okay. Big psych. That was like a flinch. Listen, everyone, listen up <laughs> to this transition. So, yeah. Kendo. Yeah. This is your life right now, okay? So, this is my life. This so, is, this is your life. I said this so is your this life. So, this is everybody's repeat. life. It really is. It is. When you think about it hard enough, it is. Yeah. Subjectivity. <laughs> everybody's own view. What are we doing? I can't wait to hear all the views of life on every topic. It's crazy. Yes, like just the 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 thoughts that and and feelings that we've never heard before. Like look at me like looking at this screen right now. Everyone's talking to me right now. <laughs> look at bro, the screen is literally talking to this guy right now. Yeah. Hear it in our voices. <laughs> you can hear the screen talking to him. Yeah. All right, return. Okay, yeah, return. We're returning, yeah, we're returning yeah, back yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, not. I know we're returning back. Okay, to they want to know more about us. Like they want to know more of me. I, I'm, yeah, man. you know. So okay, so you move. Ask me some questions. No, ask me some Honestly, questions. Okay, okay, ask okay. me some questions. Like All right, I want to tell you a story. Ask me the straight up questions. All right, Kendo. When what? Okay, I want to say what was your most embarrassing moment? Kind of tough off the top, right? To think about something like that. But what was like? What's one of your biggest regrets? But, like, I don't know if you want to get too deep, Ooh. but let's just, it's up to you if you want to go there. But, like, I Biggest also mean, regrets. like, like regrets, I was just like, oh, I wish I never did that. But it was like, it was like, oh, like, I really, I felt so bad after I did it. Or, like, I was so embarrassed. Like, a funny one, maybe. If you don't want to get too serious, up to you, man. You can take us where you want. Take us Damn, we're gonna take you on a journey. Like biggest regrets. It's tough. That's a, that's a tough question. I know. I, I don't. Honestly, you don't have to make it serious. <sighs> like, can I hop in here real quick, or do you have something to say? No, I'm thinking about it right yeah. now. I'm thinking okay, about real it real quick while you think. About biggest regret. Regret. <laughs> biggest regret. Okay, what so is your biggest regret. My biggest regret was. Hmm. That's a tough one. I don't have any regrets, man. I, love I live it. without you regrets. You love it when you hear it, folks. I don't, you don't live with regrets. I don't have a regret. Mm. You, you know, gotta like, live in, live in, move on. Right? Yeah. I mean, if I lived in a regret, I don't think I'd be doing a podcast right now. I think I'd mm. be like, like I, I'd have like a long beard sitting in front of a TV. Beards are dope, though. Beards are dope. Okay, I'll be, have like a, a beard with like a squirrel girl, like, Nesting in it. Oh, okay. That, no, Watching that's TV. <laughs> that's tight. I don't know. I'd just be like, but I would be a zombie degree. right now if I lived with regrets. Thank that's goodness sick, I don't man. live with regrets. Fucking thank I you don't live with that. regrets. Thank you for saying that, man. You really do have to just like mentally get over those things. Yeah. Easier said than done, folks. Do you have any regrets? Yes, I do. You do? Oh, my gosh. Please tell me. I what are your regrets? I don't know if I can get into this on the... Hey, this is the I'm first episode, man. This is about us, you know. After that, we're on smooth sailing from there. Like after, like people know about us. Well, they'll they'll learn more about us yeah. through other episodes. Yeah. But this is like the first episode of like, who the heck are these guys? Why should we Back. listen to these yeah. these dudes right here? Do you want to hear it? Yeah, I want to hear it. Okay, fuck. Um, so this is I'm only 21 years old. Okay, guys. So I don't really. I'm kind of with Kendall. I don't really have many regrets. Nigel's been here for only 21 years, okay? Here on planet or E-Earth, E-Earth, whatever it is. Wow. But. It's trippy. I would for me, as a four-year-old guy, yeah, it's like trippy, like only 20 the years. Four, bro, this guy looks like he's 25, though. I literally thought this guy was 25 when I first met him. No word of a lie. And I swear this guy looked like he was 13 when I first met him. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. Okay. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I know, I know. <laughs> but anyways, my regret, it was like twenty five. Really, I literally thought you could have been twenty five. Easy, and I'm not. I'm not even capping that. I'm wow, not. wow. When Thank you, told, you man. when I found out you were forty, I was like, "What the fuck?" I know. 
It's like it's crazy, eh? Mind blown. Literally yeah. mind blown. You got we I have so much wisdom in me. Like can I've we get seen a picture of Kendall's so face on this right now. <laughs> oh, we will. We will. We will. <laughs> Bo- both of our faces. It's gonna be crazy. Don't you worry. But <laughs> anyways, that regret thing. I've only recently kind of really gotten over it and I'm like, hey, whatever, it happened. It is what it is. Kinda like what Kendall was saying. Just you know, you gotta move on. But um no, it was it was high school and you know, you end up drinking sometimes. I'm sorry, you know, it happens. But what did you drink, though? <laughs> What's a high school drink? <laughs> <laughs> Who you knows? drinking? High? Mike's hard. Mike's with hard, like Bacardi, bro. Mike's Bacardi Superior. Mike's hard. <laughs> oh, and Jaeger. Smirnoff, <laughs> Smirnoff was my go-to back then, <laughs> yeah. man. Nail polish remover right there. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, Smirnoff. But, um... No, Can really? I tell you my drink in high school yes, was? Yes, sir. So I had two drinks. The first drink was this thing called Blue Typhoon. Okay. It was like a blue, you know, like Mike's Hard Blue. Yeah. But it was like a 40 ounce of just blue drink. <laughs> it was like sweet. And it was like a 40 ounce of blue drink. Sounds like a hangover. And then Pretty after that hangover. discontinued from the liquor store. Killing too many people. Yeah. I used to take Heineken. Oh, don't even. So don't like even a 750 of Heineken. I used a to 750, drink, like the fat bottles? Like the fat bottles, okay, yeah. Okay. I used to drink like maybe like three, uh, a quarter of it and then take Bacardi. Oh, buddy, shut up. Superior. <laughs> and Bacardi pour white rum. Is that white rum? White rum, yeah. And then pour it into the Heineken. And I used to call that the power juice. Wait, sorry. <laughs> you are you are effing disgusting me right I know, now. I know, I know. How much know. of the Heineken would you drink? I drink like maybe a quarter. You <laughs> disgust my soul. <laughs> I, I don't like. I have drank quite a few oh, disgusting man. cocktails in my life, but I don't know if I would ever mix beer but with the, rum. But that, that would is, <laughs> that. Okay, sorry, sorry for not at all, man. Okay. You're going on. So, but. This would happen, like, in the beginning of every, like, get-together with my friends in high school. So, I'll be like, yeah, man, Heineken, drink it half. And this is, like, yeah, before the party mean? started. And then put and then put Bacardi 151. Oh, no, sorry, not, not 151. What am I saying? Superior. Bacardi Superior. Yeah, yeah. I used to drink Bacardi 151, too, as well. But Superior. not, like, not, like, chug it down, but, like, more of, like, a cap full of it. Okay. Like that shooters. stuff is, like, powerful. That's, like, a fireball. Okay, say word. I didn't know that. Yeah. But I would put in the Heineken, Bacardi Superior, and then when I'm finished that beer, I was puking. Oh, yeah. And headache. And the next morning, I would just not get out of my bed. Hangovers. And I used to do that. I don't know who I was trying to impress. Was I trying to impress, like, a girl or something? I think you were just trying to have fun. I hope you are just trying to have fun. I think I was trying to have fun. But I, I think it was, like, bravado. Like, oh... Power juice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 trying to get the trying to get the party hyped up. I I can't lie. I've had back in my day. Sp- <laughs> I know I'm only 21. I can still say that, okay, guys. But back in my day, literally, I feel like that was I yesterday. Was, actually, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about last weekend, actually. <laughs> but no, no. I, like I, I've totally had that personality where, like, if we, if you're at a party, like. And I see people and they're just kind of like, bummy, not really looking like they're having much fun. I was the type of guy to be like, I would definitely have a bottle with me. Like, what? It's usually rum. I'm a Sailor Jerry's guy. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Fancy. Started, yeah. Sailor oh, well, fancy. Hey, yeah. who's that guy over there with the Sailor Jerry's bottle? Oh, no, that's I put, Nigel. I put He's cool. on Sailor Jerry's. Amazing for rum oh. and Cokes. Shout out. Wow. Like, seriously. Uh, it's like a vanilla Coke, guys. But um, only if you're of age. But, uh... No, so I would always have like pretty much a probably a bottle of rum is what I'd usually have. Nice. But um anyways if I saw those people like who were just like didn't look like they're having too much fun, I would definitely like I would go up to them and be like, Hey, come on, let's take some shots. Wow. But I would like so that they would have a like a good time, you know, like they felt included, right? Nice. But then by the end of the night, <laughs> Nigel's taking like way too many shots. Wow. And like I'm taking like one shot with these two, let's say these two girls and I'm like, "Oh, come on guys, like let's, let's take a shot." They take a shot, they go, and then I see another group of people they're not really having fun. I'm like, "Come on, let's have a shot." And so by the end of the night, 
I've had like way too many shots. So what kind of drunk are you? That's the next question. I'm like, a happy what? drunk. You're a happy I'm, drunk? I'm a fun, happy drunk. Only literally probably two, maybe top. I think it's literally two times. Both times off tequila, I was not a great drunk. I wouldn't say angry, but I would say aggressive. Like, what do you mean aggressive? Like, were you like, like hu- hugging people a little too hard? No, 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 no. Like <laughs> getting getting t- <laughs> getting ticked off too easily. Oh, getting ticked off by like random things. Which is, if you guys knew wow. me, that is not my personality at all. Nice. And it literally has only happened twice, and both times were tequila. So I swore nice. off tequila for quite some time. Only I love recently. tequila, I man. Love tequila now, guys. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> goodness, Casamigos. Mm-mm. Mm. A little pricey though. A little bit out of my price range. I am the responsible drunk. I can be responsible too. So this is okay. So say I was driving. Anecdote. Say I was driving to a party, right? Okay. And I would uh, drink and get drunk. Yes. I would go in my car, close the door, go to sleep, wake up at like eight in the morning, and drive home. Say words. You just sleep in the car. I just sleep in my car. Well, uh, quick question. Like, why wouldn't you sleep inside? Are these parties, like, not necessarily your I'm, close friends? I mean, if it's a club or if oh, it was okay, a bar okay. or, okay. like, uh, my close friends, yeah, I'd probably, like, stay over there Good for the you, next man. day. But I would, like, basically sleep in my car and then it'll be, like, s- like some like six in the morning, yeah, seven in the morning, okay. I wake up and I'm, like, sober and I'll just drive home. Good to go. Yeah. I do that all Good. the time. Honestly, big PSA, guys. Do not drink and drive. Hell no. If you drink and drive, I already hate you. If you and drink and drive. You hate yourself. Yeah. You hate yourself. You turn drink. off the stereo. <laughs> no. Or turn off the podcast if you drink and drive. Exactly. Yeah. Like, honestly, we got no time for that. No. And you're not putting yourself at risk. I couldn't care less about the drunk driver. I'm sorry, guys. But you put other people at risk. So, you exactly. know what? Squash it right there. If you have any friends that drink and drive... Let them know. Give them a heart to heart. It's about other people's lives too. Exactly. Just drop it there. Tell Straight them there's better up. things in life. You don't want to fuck up your life. Part of my French, but you don't. You don't mess up your life like that, guys. So that was a PSA mm-hmm. from, from us. <laughs> so if you need us to be the representatives of that, please give us a call or yep. email us or whatnot. Yeah, so we have four one six four 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 four. Four four, four six eight four, four four, <laughs> one eight hundred four, and that's not our number, but it could be your. But number. You could, but if you're a dr- uh, if you uh, drink and drive, that's our number. Yeah, <laughs> give it a call. Once again, four one six, two 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 four four. Nice. I'm pretty sure that was the same number. <laughs> yeah, or or was it four 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 six two eight two? I think you got it. Choose one. Okay, if you, if you if you if you drink and drive, just choose one of those numbers. Yes, See sir. what you get. Exactly yes, what you do if you drink and drive. If Nothing. Exactly. Yeah, and if you're drinking <laughs> and driving right now, you better pull over, call a cab, call a friend, sober friend, and get picked up. And do not drive your car, guys. Anywho. So, so I, I think the ladies want to know, Nigel. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> are you single? Or are you taken? Or are you waiting? <laughs> oh, okay. So there's single and waiting. Okay, I would say I'm a com- I'm a combo. I guess. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm definitely a single guy. I'm not I'm not like actively looking for a relationship, okay. but you know I'm open minded. I really do think like the right one will come along when it's time. And I on I think right now is the time in my life where I want to focus more on my. On your craft. Individual endeavors, yeah, like my music and whatnot. Nice. But I'm not opposed to it. I can't lie. What about you, bud? Me? I am a single man. Say what? Um, okay. Yes, I'm single. And, um, you He's know. Ready to mingle. Uh, ready to mingle. I, it call the like number that we said <laughs> two <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah, so the, the number to call is 222 uh, 628 Date me. Stars <laughs> date me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. I'm I'm 40 years old, and I'm single. Sexy. Does that sound sexy to you? Sounds like a you movie. Say it's sexier. Try, I, try I'm not. I, I I am not a virgin, but 
I'm uh, single. <laughs> super debatable. <laughs> yeah. No, try, try it again. Say it a little sexier for for the fans out there. I am <laughs> a 40-year-old single man looking for a lioness. Jeez, you sound like a very very white right there. <laughs> the Shout quiet out to storm. The <laughs> Shout out to the oldies. That was a low blow. <laughs> no, 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 not I, very white, man. Very white. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's why I said like no low. Oh, low, low blow. Low blow. <laughs> ladies, low blow. Love my ladies. Uh. <laughs> nah, but that's what I was shouting out to the oldies, the Barry White <laughs> music oldies. You're making me feel, like, you, you know, honestly, you're making me feel like I'm like 65 when you say that. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I feel like 40 is not like how it was like 40 years ago. Oh, not at <laughs> all, man. Like, the, Stop being nice. The <laughs> It's not. <laughs> shut up. No, no, but actually, though, like I swear. There's an actual stat that people nowadays are leaving home at an older age, like leaving their parents' homes at an older age because, like, <laughs> the whole the whole culture and scene and everything are just, like, one, it's expensive. Yes. Like, it's much more expensive. And also, it's, like, if you're focusing on your, like, if you're going to buy a house on your own, also a lot more single people, if you're buying a house on your own, you got to reap the benefits of parents' homes. Yes. You know, so... Well, it ups the age groups. That's true. Well, I don't live with my parents. So no, he doesn't. I haven't lived with my parents in single? a long time. Yes, sir. And I'm single, so I have like a... Independent. I'm a bachelor. I have a bachelor pad. Oh. And... um, Clean. It's clean. It's clean. Ooh. <laughs> Do you like to clean? I'm actually kind of a neat freak. Me too. Only one in my family. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. You know, It's doesn't it suck? When like like okay for example like my mom, she is, uh, she is like not a neat freak, and I have to <laughs> let her know that she's not a neat freak. That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. yeah, I'll never say anything bad about my mom. I love my mom. Oh, shout out the moms out there. Yeah, I love my mom. We love them. Love your parents, guys. <laughs> of course, of course. I hope they're nice to you too, but love your parents. Yeah. For the most part, they all love you. They want what's best for you. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Kendall, yeah. Kendall. Yes. I'm glad we never got to my regret. Oh. I don't want. <laughs> How you been thinking about it this whole time we've been talking? A little bit. It's been ooh. in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, we slipped away from that. I'm not want? disappointed about it. <laughs> Well, we're getting back to it. So, um, <laughs> what is Great. that regret? What is that regret? I think I, s- I started off with saying sometimes you drink a little too much. And sometimes you make decisions, you know, to do things with people. And I am not too happy with a decision I made once. Okay. Don't wor- Nobody was hurt. Nobody was affected. Like, I honestly, I feel like I got the worst of it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I would say if you guys are intoxicated in any kind of manner, I think it would be better just to wait. You know? Sorry to sound like a, f- like a grandpa right now, guys. But really, you know, take your time. Think about what you're doing if you can. And uh, just wait. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, that, that, really, that, from the bottom of my heart, that sounds r- like that sounds really sweet. Just wait, wait for everything. Just wait. <laughs> you're young. Yeah, you're still young. Uh, I'm saying it to young people. You're still young. Mm. I'm older, but I'm still young. I, I'm I'm young in heart, but you're a young dude, man. Shut up. Yeah, I know. You, s- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a young dude. Get out of here, man. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, <coughs> this podcast is going to be about different topics. So this first podcast is just about us getting to know us, who we are. Getting to know each other, honestly. Getting to know each other. Yeah. And that's the craziest part. So I don't know what to say. Like, should we just conclude this one and uh, sure sign totally. off? Is that what you do? I honestly, I was happy with that. Like, 
I hope fans like we're really just we're two dudes talking. Like we said, we got the age gap going. Yeah. We're we are very different people. We come from different places. Right. Different lives. Right. But you know, it's it's cool to be able to like I never thought in a million years I'd even do a podcast. But I love I love chilling with this guy. And yeah, I man. really I really think we got some good topics to talk about. Like what oh. are what are some of the topics that we might introduce? Oh man, like Social that. norms, relationships, n- music, <sighs> music. We got uh, situations, situ- relationships, relationships. You know, like food, work. food. Yes, movies, television, beer. Oh, we're gonna go off on alcohol. That's that's proper. Maybe do a little podcast or do a little. Maybe a little bit of, like drugs. We'll talk about drugs. We like can't the, talk about drugs. The good, yeah. the good, and the bad. Good, the bad, and the bad. Like, you know, like, we can talk about, like, peer pressure. Like, yes. you know, that dude that came up to you goes, like, hey, man, you want to do some blow? Then you Just ha- say no. <laughs> 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 yeah, that'll lead you, like, in a spiral. Yes. But, no, that's for, like we said, that's just a topic, right? You're right. But that's for another time. But... We got we got some good stuff to to talk about in the future if you guys are willing to listen to us. I think you will be. I think uh, <laughs> I think we've got all these people in the bag. Yeah, they're ours. We're they're gonna ours. manipulate You're, them. Yeah, we're gonna manipulate you to watch us and or not watch us, but listen to us. Then watch us, maybe. You yes. probably want to know what we look like. We're yeah. like, what the? Let us know if you want to know what Who we are look these like. These people, just mysterious dids, dids, duds, dids. Well, um, so we're going to sign off on this one. You know, you got a little bit of briefing of what we talk about. Hopefully it enjoyed your ears. And um, how to contact us. Um, you can contact us. Um, you know, what's your, what's your, what's your uh, contact? Do you have a contact? Uh, I don't know if I want to be tossing my personal email on this. Oh, shoot. I do. Hey, we can... Is there like a bio that we can add stuff to? Yeah, I think we're going to. I think we're going to have to like create some sort of uh, bio or some sort of like. This is how fresh we are, guys. Yeah, we are fresh. We are. No, but this 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 might be edited out. (laughs) That's how fresh it is. Yeah. (laughs) It might have to be. Oh, my gosh. But probably not, though. It's definitely natural. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Oh. So. um, So, uh, music. (laughs) No. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's the cue to put yeah. in our music. Okay? Yeah. So, enjoy. Love you, sweethearts. Love you, sweethearts. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> 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 Hey, thanks for listening, and if you haven't already, you can add us at 